لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد وهو على كل شيء قدير إيمانا بألوهيته وإقرارا بربوبيته وإرغاما لمن جحد به وكفر وأشهد أن محمدا عبد الله ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم سيد الخلق والبشر ما اتصلت عين بنظر أو سمعت أذن بخبر أما بعد عباد الله الله سبحانه وتعالى is asking always to fear him to fear him and the fear of Allah already bring us pleasure and safety in our life Today's we are talking about a subject could be a little bit big, but we are, I will talk about it briefly, about morals and manners in Islam. And the de declination of the Muslims' manners when they are away from the main thing will be the religion. Always you have to know, morals in Islam or ethics are combined step by side by side by Islam, by religion. And the Prophet said, religion is moral and ethics. You cannot separate one from another. For that you find the declination or what happened in the Ummah is a part of its manners. Religion is still there. The more you be away, from manners, the more you will be away from your religion. And the Prophet ﷺ says, the one who is going to be, have good manners, he will have the, re the, the reward of the one who fast and pray all the time in front of Allah Taala. And he said, the one who are beloved, most beloved to me, and the closer to me in the day of judgment are the people who have good manners. We have to understand why we are talking about this subject and we desperately, we desperately for it, we need it so urgent in our life. When the manners start to decline, we decline in the life of the humans especially Muslims, start to appear new laws. We have countries, every country has a law. And the law is important. We need it to control and to organize people's behavior. But why this law is there being issued because the manner is the absence of the religion. Absence of the religion make law start to develop. You find every five, six years, ten years, a new law count, a new law count, a new law count. While in the Islamic state, in the time of the Sahaba, there is no law. The Quran, it never changed. To the last day of the Islamic state, the Quran here and morals never changed. When the, the morals start to be declined, then in the absence of the religion, start law and rules start to be appearing. Here, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prescribed the Prophet, وسلم, he said, You are Muhammad, you are on an exalted and highly characteristic and ethics. What? Because Muhammad Sallallahu he is the representative for all mankind, especially Muslims. We have to take the manners. Why Prophet Sallallahu he was prescribed by Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala that? Because this is the manners of Allah. Not the manners of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the manners of Allah and the manners of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taken from the manners of Allah and ask us to, to follow these manners. And always, we have to remember, without religion, you cannot have peace in the world. 
I'm not talking to change countries, system, politics. I'm talking about ourselves. This is your kingdom. Your hope is your kingdom. Yourself between you and yourself is a kingdom. You have to find the religion at a space in your life. But without manners and morals, you cannot run your religion. If you ask anyone, even here, anywhere, about he is a good person or not. Some people say because he always in the mosque. MashaAllah is praying. That's good. He is doing, he is paying the car, he is fasting, he is, he is, he is, he is. He said it's not enough. Yes, it's a good. But what do you ask about his manners? Where? In his house, first. The, his house is the balance and the scale of his behavior. You find him in his good here, but he is not good in his house. The wife or the husband is our manners. So you always evaluate a person through a balance. If you would be a guy talking about Islam, you could talk very good. But the people, they never evaluate you according to what you speak when you see, when they see your manner, not the way you are talking about. So morality is the first in our life. And this subject, the manners, is not morality or ethics, is not how to treat people good only or how to treat your children at home good only, and how to do all these things good to be good to people, to pay charity, to pay this, is not this only. The, the matter of morality is very wide. We have a saying saying, what you, your manners or what from what you eat. Your manners are from your, the friends you are, you are with them. Your manners are from the place where you live. You adapt from that. We are talking today about Corona. This virus being now threatening the whole world. We don't care about politics. I don't care about that. People, they speak too much. They have business. But if you look further, why that happened? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to control, to say to control yourself, there is halal and haram. From the good manner to stick to the halal. From the bad manner to stick to the haram. And he addressed the humanity and he addressed believers. Ya ayyuhannatu kullu muntayibati ma taqna. Oh believers, eat from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you, supply you from the halal. When the people start their manners to change, when they start to eat snakes, bats, bats, dogs, all that, manners. These are from the manners of the humanity. The more you, you do this, the more you will be away from your, your humanity. Look what happened. And the most safest, that's the report from the United Nations, the most safest people from this disease in China, Muslims. Most safest Muslims, because they are not involved, because they took their religion first. This is haram, we don't eat it. Even the other people, they start to eat, even a human flesh. Human flesh, they start to eat it. They don't care about that. See the menace. The friends you accompany, you have friends, you find yourself at the end, you are stuck in drugs. Because you will fall. This also changes your mind. It changes your mind. Smoking, going to bad places. Friends, pull you. But if you are from the beginning, you put the manners in your life. Hmm? To run your life, you find yourself you are safe. Your religion will never leave it. Will come by itself. Some people complain. They said we are our kids. We raise them as a Muslims. 
And after that, when they grow up, they start to, to, to be looks like, uh, uh, you know, rebellion. They cannot listen to us. You have to know, Islam didn't end in your house. Religion and morality doesn't end in your house. It has to continue because you are putting the roots of Islam in the brain or the heart of your children. When they go to school, when they go to school, what happens? They start to uproot what you did slowly. In the elementary school, talking about many things, in the high school, then university, the child or the student will reach there, believing there is no God. If he believes there is God, you will say religion doesn't mean anything to me. Say, uproot all what you did in your house. So for that, we have to be careful, we have to continue. Even your kids from the beginning, teach them not religion only. Teach them morals. That's what we make us hold to our religion hardly without away from it even a second. When you teach them how to pray, good. How to do this, how to do this, and away from morality. And many people, they ask, they say that manners here, we have good manners in the society. They say, yes, we don't deny that. And we have manners in Islam. So it looks like the manners of Islam said, no, don't commit this mistake. The manners in Islam prohibit what Allah told, subhanahu wa ta'ala told you, don't do it. And the manners of Islam said, of Allah, do whatever Allah told you to do it. While in other societies, what they do? The manners never clash or contradict with zina. So, they have manners, but never contradict. Never contradict with homosexuality. Morals never contradict with gambling. Morals never contradict with, call it alcohol. Never contradict in eating anything from this world. You cannot say our manners as Islam, this is the manners of Islam. You cannot. And I know someone said it long time ago. He came to the West, he said, I saw Islam, I didn't see Muslims. Went to the Muslim countries, I saw Muslim, I didn't see Islam. From his point of view, right. But if you go deep, it's not right. At all. We have to be serious in our raising our children. Before you to raise yourself, don't give the opportunity to people, there's no difference. We are in, 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 in a great country, that's correct. We agree with you. In a just country, we agree with you, that's correct. But when it comes to your faith, say no. Say no. I have to, to work or to, to, to behave according to my faith. And nobody will stop you. Nobody will let you to tell you this. And someone will tell you there's a freedom here. Free of speech, free of behavior, free of choice, free of thinking. You say yes. There is. Why? But in manners and morality, no freedom in manners. No freedom in manners. Because manners must enforce humanity to behave and keep the society together and safe. We cannot be like that. Because they make manners a law. The law changed. According to the manners of people, they change the law. We cannot make the manners law. Our manners is a faith. We cannot take the, 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 our manners from the root, uproot and say, okay, let's go with the law. The law, you see, the manners is not a law, but the manners is there to fix and bend the law. Without manners and moral and ethics, the law will be changed all the time. And people according to their behavior. And we have to understand that morals are not only one word. There's categories of and we have to empower, empower our immunity in faith, 
you have to be to come back to that. Manners or morality or ethics, values, under it there is patience. Saying the truth, honest, is under morality, honest. All these things, also, also you could find the people, purity, is under the morals. To empower your system or your morals or your faith, you have to empower the patient. Not to be away from patient. You have to empower the truth from lying. You have to empower the purity, the, 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 the immunity of your purity from impurity. Yes, you have to know that. Manners is not words, it's not a word to be said in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said all of this in the Quran about patient, about zina, about how to deal. These are, if you look at it, under it is the categories of morality. Again, we have to have one thing. In our back home, in the society where Muslims start to be weakened and weakened and weakened. Why? Fighting each other, attacking each other, no mercy in their heart in each other, away from politics. Why that? People, they said, away from their religion. No, they are not. They are not away from religion. Religion away from them. They are following. But they are away from their morality, from their ethics. Away from it. Look at the society. Lying is taking over. Politics, politicians, cheating each other. Today he is your friend, tomorrow is your enemy. No morality. Don't tell me that we have a man. It is not under the morality. It is under the, 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 the lie and under the evil way. When you see of impurity, today the thing has start to, 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 to be spread all over. Before it was the punishment of zina or the punishment of a crime being committed, very hard and harsh and severe. Today, only a few words, don't do it again. This is under the manners. We see the mosque are full. He goes out to the mosque, looks like he prayed, it's good. Alhamdulillah, Allah gave it his heart. But when it comes to the freedom of, 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 of manners, he will say, we are free and we want to do whatever we want. No, you cannot do that. We cannot do that because it is not your choice here. It's a choice of Allah. All you have to do the choice to choose, I don't want to be a Muslim. I don't want to do anything. Yeah, that's your choice now. But what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, if you want to be a Muslim, you have to combine or go by its twin as Without it, you can't. You can't. For that, you find people are living in chaos of morality. The world doesn't will never come back to itself or to its humanity without that. We are not going to fix the world. But there is one person who fix the world. One person. You. You. Me. Start with yourself. We are the one. Prophet Muhammad Sallam, he was by himself, by his manners, by his honesty. 1.6 billion people now Muslims. By himself. They didn't look at the religion first. He didn't was calling for religion. He was calling for the good manners. And by his good manners, people, they start to believe him. They said, he is saying the truth. But if you find a Daria today, he is talking that he is a very affected person. And his home, he is a bad person. Or outside with his employees or in the, in the school, etc. He has no manners in dealing with others. So you don't trust him. Yes, I believe that your religion is good. But you are not a good example for that. For that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ لِمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُ اللَّهَ وَالْيَوْمَ الْآخِرِ وَذَكَرُ اللَّهَ كَثِيرًا It's a good example. 
with the Prophet ﷺ with his morality, with his behavior, with his ethics. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent him uh, with ethics values to spread Islam based on this. Without this one, you cannot be a good Muslim. And I will tell you ethics or not more as uh, to Islam, to, to your religion, to Islam, like a car, a brand new car, beautiful car, and have a nice seat, nice features. Everybody will like it, will love it, but have no engine. The use of this car. No engine. Everybody will look at it, very beautiful, but you cannot use it. Because no engine. And the engine of Islam is more. We cannot stay, be a Muslim without it. We have to start on ourselves. Raise your children based on more Islamic morals, Islamic ethics, and don't worry about them wherever they go. Wherever they go. Islam is not only praying, it's not only paying zakat and, and we, we will make song in Ramadan. And not only just to, to do good with the hi, how are you, salam alaikum, everything. It's everything that good. It's not only this. But the most important is morality. If we don't have it, so don't expect positive results of your raising your kids or yourself. Don't expect it. You see, one day there will be a rebellion said, from what I did, it's my fault. Don't say they did, because the society outside, a society outside is very dangerous and very strong. It's a strong kind of pass. If you don't empower their, their immunity in their faith from the beginning, you will lose them. You will lose them. Maybe you lose yourself. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us firm on the morality of Islam and to pass it to our generation. Alhamdulillah, he robbed the Alameen. What shall come there, Ilaha, in the law, but the whole lesser he tell her. He had a son, while he to a cat. What shall come to Mohammed and Abdullah, he were a son. While Ali, he was a happy, he was sent At the end, we see that that morality is not a lesson you could take it at school. Is no one have a bachelor or PhD in words, in patience, in dignity, in purity? You don't have it. It's here, your nature. It's inside us. Allah created to use it. <coughs> Put it inside us. You cannot learn it in the universities or at school. Morality is something you have to use it, but without the religion, you cannot run it. And without manners, the religion will never last. And we have to start. The starting of the first step of being lasting our religion and our manners, the empowering our morals. This is the first step. Morals. You have to stick to it. It doesn't matter. You have to stick to that. Teach yourself, we all, because all we need it. No one is perfect, but morality will perfect the personality of a Muslim. He will be a good messenger to the whole world by his morality, by his ethics values. By this, then they will try to stay. If you speak about your religion, they will believe you. We never had anything against this guy. We didn't find him as a cheater or a liar. We didn't see him, he is behaving up, up, different, contradict himself between his speech and his religion. This is the way was the Prophet And this is the manners of Islam. And this is the manners of Allah. This is the manners of Allah. Step to it, you will be that. 
ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا محمد كما صليت على سيدنا ابراهيم وعلى ال سيدنا ابراهيم في العالمين انك حميد مجيد اللهم انا نسالك من الاخلاق اكرمها ومن الاعمال ادومها ومن الاقوال احسن احسنها ومن العفه احصنها ومن الارزاق اطيبها اللهم اللهم اهدنا اللهم اهدنا الى احسن الاخلاق انه لا يهدي اليها الا انت واصرف عنا سيئها فانه لا يصرف عنها غيرك لا اله الا انت سبحانك اني كنت من الظالمين وصلي الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم واقم الصلاه